Hi, Jenny here. I will be making the third of my four squashes today. Today we will be making a butternut squash. I found a recipe for some caramelized butternut squash. So I thought I would try that one. So let's get started. For this recipe, you are going to need one butternut squash, three tablespoons of butter, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and a teaspoon of salt. We will be cutting our squash, and so you want to make sure first of all, wash it with soap and water. So as we're cutting it, we're not going to take any germs from the outside and put it on to the inside. The seeds of a butternut squash are pretty much in the bottom portion, so the top of this should be all solid. So we can cut this kind of much in half, and then we're going to scoop the seeds out. You can toss these seeds if you want to, or you can keep them and roast them, just kind of like you do pumpkin seeds. It's up to you. I had those other squashes. I'm going to probably just roast all the seeds together. So when you have the seeds out of there and get the, the stringy bits out of there, it should be nice and smooth. And then once you have that finished, you can try with um, either a peeler or a knife. For this, we're going to take all the skin off and then we'll cut it up into chunks. Once you have all the skin off of your squash, you want to chop it up into about one inch squares. We are going to melt three tablespoons of butter. We're going to pour that then over the squash and add our um, brown sugar. I'm also gonna add our salt. Mix that all up well so it's all well coated. We will bake it in our 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes. All right, oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Now make sure your squash is in a single layer. We're going to bake that for 40 minutes. We're going to check it at 20 minutes and stir it, but then 40 minutes total. Right, this is after 20 minutes. Nice. It's already feeling pretty soft. So 
again, make sure it's still on single layer. We'll put it back in for another 20. Let it cool and taste it. So there we go. The caramelized butternut squash is all finished. It's been fun making squash these different ways. Normally I just bake it and I put butter and salt on there. So it's been fun trying different things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave the recipe for this down in the description below. Let me know in the comments down below if you've eaten butternut squash before um, and how you like to prepare it or any other squash and what's your favorite recipe. I'm going to enjoy my squash now. You guys keep it positive. Go make it a great day. Bye-bye. So soft. Mmm, and the brown sugar, oh, 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 that's really good. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jenny here. Today we'll be making the third of four videos on how to make squash. So today I'm going to be making the butternut squash. I found a recipe for some caramelized butternut squash. So that's what we're going to make today. So, 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 so. <laughs> <laughs> Outtakes.